are. Hello guys, come on in. This is Deb with Art and Grace. Oh my goodness, what a fun event. Tammy with Crafty Peep has got a ice cream social event going on. We have had fun all day long and there are still presenters after me. And let me just say right now, as you're popping on, by Shana is after me. So after I'm done, we will just refresh and get to see her. So if you are not in the crafter or creative crafters community, you want to get into that group. And I've got it pinned at the top of my video. So if you just go up to the description of this video, you'll see it. But it's Crafty Creators Community. Just remember CCC and that will take you right to it. So then you just refresh between each creator. Hey Tammy, thank you for inviting me to your event. Always love to be a part. Hey Manny, hola. You just painted a Christmas tree, woohoo. Listen, I'm all about it, but oh my goodness. It's just a tad early. <laughs> I really I really love Christmas in July, but I'm I'm trying to wrap my brain around it, you guys. It's just so hot here. But yes, I know it's time. Creators have to get started early. I just have this sitting here so I remember to give it away tonight, so I'll put it off to the side, but remind me, someone's in charge of reminding me not to forget because I always forget those kind of things. Hello, Vicki and Beth. Hi, Marcia and Phyllis. Hey, Ann. Glad to see you, friend. Uh, hi, Lori and Marie. Adriana. Is it Adri? Adri? Adriana? Oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. I'm sure it's so easy, too. Adriana, maybe. Veronica, Patty. Hello, Anna and Kim. Roseanne. Sydney, Tina, Cheryl. Oh goodness, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Hi, Dina. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Beth. Thank you guys for sprinkling. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. I really, truly do. So thank you. Thank you every time. Y'all, this is going to be super cute. I'm going to kind of get to it because last time I thought, oh, no problem. I have plenty of time. Um, I wound up having to do a few things off camera afterwards so we're getting right down to business i'm just going to get out some colors i use deco art you can use whatever brand you love i will name them as i go calypso blue and bahama blue um hey guys keep coming in and saying hi and let me know where you're from and how's the weather because i know we've had lots of friends with storms and so y'all let me know how you're doing on that end Hey, Roseanne, thank you for sprinkling, and Marcia, you guys are amazing. We have had so much fun with this event, and if you've missed any of it, it's okay, because here, we know that you guys can't just sit around all day, every day, although we'd love it, but, you know, there are lots of things that we have to get done in a day, so if you're missing things or you've missed something, just go into that crafty, uh, hold please, Crafty Creators Community, and you'll be able to see what you missed. And we always are good about showing pictures, too. So, you know, you can just kind of look at the picture, and that way, if it's something you'll never do, you know, it's okay. But you can find what you want to look at and then go watch those replays. So we all appreciate it. And hopefully you found some new favorites to follow. Um, there's a few newer ones that you may not know about, so you can follow them. And of course, if you're new to me, I would absolutely love to have you. So I teach really easy paintings. And as you can see, we get right down to business and just get this background on. The star of the show is coming. I gave a sneak peek to my VIP group and I gave a sneak peek in Telegram. So y'all let me know if you saw it. I think a lot of times, you know, we just kind of see the telegram come through and we don't pay it much attention. But you never know, ladies and gentlemen, when I'm going to say, hey, thanks for opening up that telegram. Um, you won. So go ahead and open them up. I have just done, like I said, the Calypso Blue and Bahama Blue. Added a little bit of white for my sky. I mean, for my water. <laughs> for my sky. For my water. Oh, thank you so much. Um, look at my brain going blank, Debbie. When y'all come in as your business, sometimes it takes it a minute to the, the wheels to turn and for me to get it together and think. 
You did. It's cute. Thanks, Tana. Good, Christy. Yes, VIPs are in the house. I love to see my VIPs here. Okay, so once we get that water down, we're going to do a little bit of like a sand color and get some sand. Sydney saw it. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Sherry. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, listen, did you hear that? Every time, Sherry, every time I talk to you, Siri thinks I'm talking to her. And she said, that's nice. She's, you know, got a mind of her own. VIP in the house. Woohoo. I got my bracelets on, Carrie. Carrie and I have some of the same bracelets. Did you ever tell me, because I went back and I didn't see your comment if you did, about when I was trying to remember, you've got my pilot. She has one that says my pilot. And what's the other one? My princess. I don't know, but I couldn't find your if you answered me I didn't see it so I was wondering what ones you ended up with so I'm just using this sand color it's called oyster beige this is a new color to me I don't even know if it's new or if they've had it and I just never had bought it but I really like the look of it and if you notice we're just getting that on okay princess I was right couldn't think of it the other day and then I'm gonna kind of just do a little bit of streakiness up into the water and that kind of shows you how the water's coming up onto the sand right I think I got some blue in my sand, but that is okay. We keep going and it will all be just fine. It'll be just fine. Hi, Lori. Oh, it is. This is my, um, I'm getting blue in it. I'm such a messy painter. Hold on. Hold please. No, kind of clean that off. Hey, Lori. Painting, or um, what else did I miss? Um, Painting is just the thing that I love to do the most, and it is so relaxing. I picked it back up when my mom had, you know, Alzheimer's, and I was rushing every day. I worked full-time, and I was always on the road going to see her when she didn't have, you know, it was just dementia and all that mess. But then as it really developed, and she got the Alzheimer's diagnosis, and things, you know, got worse and worse um, I was always I'd get off work and go straight to her house in Abilene which is quite a drive and then we did move her here um, but lots of years of stress and so that is what got me back into painting even though I didn't have time for it y'all so those of you that are thinking oh someday I don't have time let me just tell you what a huge stress reliever it is and um, so, you know, if you can make the time, you guys are hopefully noticing that all I'm doing is adding some white up into my sand. That's it. So we've just got the blues, a little bit of white. We've got the sand color, and then I'm adding some white into this here. Okay, just kind of get this whole canvas covered. But anyway, uh, you will be so happy if you can steal some time you know, if you have to get up a little early or teach somebody else how to do the dishes or how to, um, you know, do the laundry and that will buy you another 30 minutes or something. Um, I, de I definitely learned those tricks and I learned that, that their way of doing it isn't my way of doing it and that's okay. It got done, you know. Um, so anyway, enough about that. You are getting back on track. I know, Anna. Uh, uh, listen, it takes a long time. So be patient with yourself. And I know I've said this on a post or something that, you know, have grace with yourself because it is hard and it's going to be hard forever. It's not like you're going to wake up one day and be like, okay, I'm okay now. It's always going to be hard. You'll have those moments where something just hits you and you just cry and break down and don't feel like you can go live and and that's okay. Listen, a page is not numbers and trying to keep up with the Facebook rules and algorithm. That's not important. You know, your family and your health and your mental health, that's what's important. And all of your people will be here when you're ready. So you take any breaks you need. You've got plenty of crafting friends that will help. Okay, how's this? We got a nice background. I always say never no it just it absolutely changes you that is so true and we just have to learn that to hold on to all those good times and all those good memories and and that's what we focus on is 
the ways that we're like them, um, you know, some of the things they taught us, remembering the good times and and the more you think on the good things, the, the other bad parts will fade away a little bit. It has for me anyway. We have to train our brain, right? We have to train our brain to focus on the good, get into God's Word. If you ask me, that's my what works for me. And come back around to what we know is truth and what is beneficial to us in our heart and in our mind. Okay, yes, prayers for Anna. Aw, oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Um, this is just a very simple, simple little beach background. We don't have to worry too much about this because what's on top is what matters. Y'all give her love. Give her some hearts. Go watch a replay video when you can. I'm telling you, there are some simple ways you can help the creators that you care about. Because, you know, I'm here to tell you it's hard. And I have to remind myself to quit worrying about what Facebook says and quit worrying about my numbers being in the trash. I mean, I am here for my people and, you know, I'm just trying to get to YouTube, to be honest. Because <laughs> I don't know what Facebook is doing. They're great, great. Okay, so I'm going to show you all how to draw this. I don't have a tracer. I just came up with this design literally about an hour, maybe a little more ago. So um, we're going to do this together. I'm going to show you how to do it so that you can do it. Um, I will make a tracer, and that way if somebody wants it, um, we'll have one. But, okay, so we're going to do an ice cream truck. So we're just going to make a little kind of a box, okay? That's all we're doing at first is making this little box. And just curve, curve it kind of come down then I'm just kind of looking with my eye and just kind of kind of make a very faint little pencil mark I don't know if y'all can see this pencil but I can't really do more than that until I like the design you know what I'm saying like it could be total mess and so I'm gonna kind of see like this I want to curve out a little bit so just quickly you can easily fix it if you're just using a very light touch with a pencil I'm gonna give her a window here We're going to give her a big window here where she's going to serve the kiddos. We have an ice cream truck that comes through our neighborhood, and I love it. Now, I don't like the song. The song is creepy. I don't know if you guys have an ice cream truck in your neighborhood. Let me know because I think it's kind of weird. Like, I thought those were a thing of the past, but this neighborhood we're in has one that comes every day. And um, the music kind of creeps me out. <laughs> It's it's fine music, but then it's like every so often it's like it says hello, so like it's da 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 hello, and so that hello sounds like very robotic and weird, and it just creeps me out. I know I'm being silly, but okay, doesn't have to be perfect. And I know I'm making a big pencil mark here, but it'll all be fine. No, Lori, I don't have one. I did have one. I don't know what happened to it. I think I threw it away, to be honest, because it just disappeared, and it's just gone. So I, it must have fallen in the trash, and then I, I just can't find it. Yeah, it's probably happy music. It just sounds, seems, it's just kind of weird. Okay, so there's the little wheels. This one's too, too far back. We're going to move that a little this way. I'm, I'm trying to hurry, y'all. Bear with me. Don't leave me. I'm sure that this is kind of boring to watch, but I do like to show people how easy it is to draw things because literally think of a box, right? And then you just curve the edges, okay? Um, my private group is open. If anybody is like, oh, I'd love to learn how to paint or draw or do glass art or whatever, you know, it is open. So now's the time to get in. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. That's good. Let's go on and do an umbrella over here. And I kind of want that a little wider. There we go. So just a little kind of curve. And you can take your pencil and just do a little dotted line that helps you. And so now we're just going to kind of connect. One, two, three, four, like that. 
and then you can erase those little dotted like so okay I'll hold this up because it's probably so faint y'all can't see it oh thank you Virginia hi Cheryl thank you Anna I'm glad y'all are enjoying it see Debbie yeah I wouldn't let kids go out you know you don't we don't know so I would definitely go out with them that that's just asking for trouble I think okay I'm gonna make me a cone which obviously the cone shape guys see that's why I tell you when you break everything down into shapes it's so much more doable sometimes we just look at something and go oh that looks hard it's not so I've kind of got a little scalloped -y kind of edge here and then we're gonna do a big big scoop and it'll have a little scalloped and that's it so that's that and then I think that's all I really need to do. I'm going to do a couple of kiddos on here if I have time, but I just, I don't think I need to draw them. They're super simple. And that's another good thing I can get to show you is how simple these little, because I'm not good at people. I'll be the first to admit I am not good at people. So if we can do a simple, oh, yep. I think everything else is good. Okay. Let me hold that up and show you our little design. So we've got a little sign I'm going to put here, our little truck, their little steering wheel, ice cream cone. I'm going to put the ice cream lady, which is me, and then a little ice cream freezer here. And I don't know if you can barely see, you can just barely see the line here for that little truck. Uh, we'll put a mirror here, but I'm going to paint it, so I'll put the mirror after, and then our little umbrella. Okay, so we got we got plenty to do. Okay, friends, let me grab another palette so it's clean. Going through these like water. Thanks, Christy. You'd like to have an ice cream cone after today? Oh my goodness. Like, I've given up sugar for the most part. I'm really, really, really doing good. I thought it was going to be the hardest thing ever. And here's the thing is, you know, it doesn't make me feel good. So after I eat sugar, I never feel good. So if you can kind of remember how bad it makes you feel, it makes it easier to give it up. But I'll still have a few things or, you know, something every now and then, but for the most part. Okay, these are Royal Fuchsia and Bubblegum Pink that I'm going to now. And we're going to do our little truck. I want to get a coat on here because we... Where's my flat brush? What I do with it? I had all... Oh, there it is. I had all my... That's not it. That's not what I wanted. Okay, I'm confused. None of those are my flat brush. What did I do with it? Well, now, there it is. I guess I just put it up and I didn't mean to. Such a fun painting. Let's go. I'm ready to get, get on with the fun part. Okay, so I'm going into my bubblegum pink and we're going to start doing this truck. This is a flat brush, half inch. Oh, I went a little too high here. There we go. And I'm using just regular acrylic paint, student grade. You know, for fun, whimsical paintings, I always use just regular student grade paint. And this paint, I think, has such good coverage that, you know, you get a really nice, pretty painting, even if I do flowers or something, um, that you don't need to go get expensive paint if you don't want to. Now, brushes will make a difference. So, well, honestly, paint makes a difference too. So let me not say that paint doesn't, but I can get a really pretty painting out of some inexpensive craft paint. But you do need some decent brushes. Brushes do make a difference. Let's see how you're kind of letting the brush do the work. So this is a flat brush and I'm just kind of following the lines. And when you work it side to, you know, flip it over, flip it over, flip it over, you've got that nice clean edge and you can just go along. And that's what, what I mean when I say do the work. And then watch it go around the wheel. It just goes right around the wheel like so 
so it's doing the work for you. I oh, really Carrie. Sorry about that. I don't know whether construction in the area. I never know either. There is no rhyme or reason. Now storms, anytime it rains here, our internet goes out. But they usually usually can fix it pretty quick, but I don't know. I know I did I asked y'all a question about the weather and then I didn't get to sit and look at the answers, but I ask things like that because I do. I, I always read the comments. So, you know, know that if you've said something, I'm going to see it. And that's what I like. I like to see who was here, what they said. You know, it's fun. And ha one way I get to know people and kind of see what's going on in your world. A lot of people will kind of, they know that I like to have the updates. So they'll... Anytime I'm live, I usually say, give me an update, what's going on, and, you know, if you've told me about something, then it's a good chance to say, you know, mom's doing better, or whatever the case is. And Okay, so we've got a nice little background for our little pink truck. Super cute. And this is one coat, and you can see it's got really good coverage, so... I will probably do another, but I am going to move on for time's sake. Let's let that dry and move on. Cute little truck. Thanks, Carrie. It is stormed in Alabama. So, is it bad storms or just kind of the usual yucky storms? Oh, thank you, Roseanne. Y'all are too sweet. Too, too sweet. Now, I want to go ahead and I'll do my umbrella. I will... Um, Start at that point and go, so find your center, so about right there. Take that point and go up to the center on each little section. And that's kind of how you get a nice section. And I'm going to use a really small detail brush uh, to kind of get my, my sections because that is a very tiny little area up here. I know I started right in the middle instead of the edge because I was about to do that pink and then I changed my mind on where I wanted the pink. But a little brush will get you right up into that corner really easy and since it's a pretty small area I can just paint it, paint it in with this and it's no big deal. Have y'all found some people today that you're going to follow or have you found some ideas that you want to do or try? I love Tammy's events. She always, number one, she has super cute themes. And number two, she is excellent about including people and, you know, using people that, giving people a chance or, you know, um, when I did events, I love to do that because not everybody has been around for years and has a huge following and yet they're really talented and we need to see what they do. And And it's not always all about talent either, you know, it's just having fun and watching what somebody does. So, yes, we love you, Tammy. And I don't know how you do it. I really don't and all the other stuff you do. So yellow is a very translucent color. If I just put that on there by itself, just watch. You know, it's very thin and see-through, you know. I don't know the word. But anyway, I am going to mix white with it and that will be my base coat and then I'll go over it again with a... So the base coat's gonna be very pale, but um, it's gonna give me excellent coverage that way. That white just see how the it just covers the sand whereas the original yellow did not so just add just a little bit of white I added quite a bit because I'm in a hurry I don't have time to play around so I added quite a bit and I'm going to get this colored in quick and then I'll go back and put my brighter yellow on top of this I do this right here if I'm going to paint gold I'll put a little yellow under it or you know um, if I have I have a gold paint but Yellow also will make it really pretty. 
Okay. I don't either, Judy. She's a mystery. I know she does have help with Bethlehem, but still. I'm a long way from hiring help, and I need it, too. So, it, it's a lot to do on the back-end stuff. And shipping orders and things, it takes a lot of time. My items take a lot of time because I pack kits. And I do it, I'm going to do it as long as I can because it's, in my opinion, it's like a service because it's so time consuming that you don't make much money, if any, <laughs> when you think about your time. But there's a lot of people that can't get out or don't have stores near them. And so when they get a kit or whatever, it, it just makes it easy. And I have a lot of people that will ask for them. So I like doing them, but at some point... You're just like, I don't know how I'm going to get it all done. Okay, then we're going to do a little lime green over in this. That's not the color I meant to grab. Where is my hold? Hold, please. Judy, you just start, started following me. I'm so glad. Yes, if you're not already following, I would love it. And I do all kind of things. So, you know, you'll have to just... I would I always say this, too. I know y'all get tired of hearing me say the same things, but... You know, in events, when you see somebody you don't know, give them a follow because um, they're always more talented than what you're just seeing. Most people do a lot of different things, not just one thing. So if you come back next time, I might be doing mixed media or crafting or glass resin art, you know. So um, it's always good to kind of give people a chance and see what they do. And... You know, I used to always apologize. Like, my voice, I know it's annoying. It annoys me. I can't, when I watch my lives back, I'll turn it on mute. And so I used to apologize. And now I'm like, whatever. I mean, it's just, I can't help it. It's, it's my voice. I cannot help that. But if you can overlook things that kind of get on your nerves about people, then you might just find somebody you love, you know. And in time, it won't grate on your nerves. <laughs> Okay, so there's our umbrella. I am going to erase that little line I drew for the stick and do a neater one. So that I do this, you know, I'll kind of just sketch right onto my canvas for placement. If I don't, you know, if I'm just figuring out a design. My voice is fine. Thank you. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of my sand color from this palette and cover up what I just drug a little paint pink on. You can just kind of cover over it and then spread it out it'll be okay y'all are too sweet okay well I thank you I, I shouldn't even say anything because y'all are too nice okay so for our stick here for our little um, it's gonna be wood so I'm gonna get just a tiny bit of brown this is called sable brown love the color i'm going to get out the little oyster beige and just do a tiny bit of that and so here's our stick kind of coming right up the middle and then i'm going to just grab that oyster beige on my brush right on top of what i had and come down kind of one side of this stick just so it's not one solid color. Y'all see that? That's all. Now, while I've got these on my stick, we're going to move right over and do our ice cream cone. Because I'm going to use this brown first. Sable brown. I'm staying with my detail brush because see all these points I'm having to get in and it's going to save me time to just use this little brush. But use whatever you want, whatever brush works for you. I do have my preferences, like I like the set that I'm using. They are in my Amazon uh, saved list if you want to see or you can always message me or um, go to the website. My website is the easiest way to get places. So. 
I think it's linked at the bottom. If you get on that, then you can just go right to wherever you need. So it'll have my favorite supplies, or if you want to learn about my membership, or if you want to, um, you know, join the email. I mean, that's just the best way to get around. Let's let that ice cream cone. Oh, y'all, I did the wrong color. I meant to put the lighter one on the bottom. Look at what I did. This is what happens to me because I don't. I go. I'm trying to go fast. And then I just don't pay attention. What are y'all saying? I'm missing out. But I go back. I can't wait. It's almost like a treat for me to get to go back and see what y'all are saying. I'm going to cover over what I just did because I really wanted it the other way around. And I just, I have a headache. And so I just wasn't thinking. So that's really too, too much light. Let's see if we can mix these right here on my canvas going to kind of mix those two together and lighten it up. Guess what I wanted was for my lines of the cone to be the darker color. This is totally fine because it gives you a little shading underneath and, and on the edges almost like a little outline. So no problem and that's why I tell you guys all the time don't sweat it. It's forgiving. You can cover over mistakes. Oh, thank you, Crystal. How are you today? Crystal's talented lady. Okay, just looking around to see where I want to move to. I'm going to take, while I've got this on my palette, I'm going to take and just make some kind of some sand marks. And we're going to do a little pile of sand over here because some kids have been playing. And I just like to use a little different color than what I did for my actual sand. So it kind of looks like a pile. You can, you know, I don't know why I keep just going to use a detail brush for this whole painting. Um, I'm going to a bigger brush here. Just trying to show you all this palette while I am mixing here. Just add your white back in until you get it to a... Do y'all hear? You can't hear it, I'm sure. But the ice cream truck is out there right now. <laughs> what a coincidence. I wish y'all could hear the music. It cracks me up. Hello. I'm going to record it. I'm going to record it, y'all. I will do that. Like tomorrow when it comes by, I'm going to definitely go out there and record it so y'all can hear that weird hello. Okay. I'm going to try to get a little light. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Then you can just take... If I had that fan off, I have a fan in here, I think y'all would be able to hear it. Just take a little white and kind of come every no every so often and just give it a little give it a little something something. Like so. Okay. I'm li I'm listening to see if anybody can hear it. Can you hear it, Crystal? I know. Think about this. Think about if it was like late at night and you had to run out to your car to get something and that weird music started playing. Now, kids love it. You know, we loved it when we were kids. Okay, we've got a see-through window. And I'm going to show you what my plan is on that. So, so I've got to put some little sand marks back there too. And then, of course, by this sign, we're going to have some piled up there. Okay, that's good. Christmas music. Christmas music. <laughs> well, if they play it long enough, I guess it's going to roll back around. Okay, friends, let's do a little bit of teal mint. It's time for me to buy some more. Teal mint is what this one is. And I'm going to do the steering wheel with this. It's kind of a turquoise to me, you know, kind of looks turquoise. So we're doing the steering wheel with this. Deb loves her turquoise, so her steering wheel has to be turquoise. Oh, what I did, I didn't, I can see now that I did not paint as much as I should have or as I had meant to right there on that window, but it's totally fine. So I'm just going to move the steering wheel over. But the steering wheel is going to be coming out like so. Okay. 
and then this little let's see how did I do that um, oh yeah so I kind of did this and kind of figured so really the rest of the steering wheel isn't going to show maybe just a touch of it right there and then something like that so there's my little steering wheel oh yes oh that's so true I love that I love when something reminds us of a good memory um, a good you remember a good humor ice cream truck oh see I love that you know those were the good old days and I know that we sound old when we say that because that's what our parents and grandparents said you know um, but it's just true because we know that times are hard for our kiddos and those were simpler days now I'm just going to try to do a circle you can totally trace something and make it a really perfect one if you want but I'm just going to kind of follow around in a circular motion and then I'm filling it all in because that's the easiest way and then just I'll make a circle in the center for my little wheel part I have not looked at my watch I don't even know I don't even know if I want to know what time it is because I have that feeling like I'm taking too long Before I forget, because I do get to talking and or just forget, I want to say thank you for you guys that are sprinkling or have sprinkled because that just helps us all. Um, you know, so you sprinkle for me, but then after me is another person, and so they'll get to watch that. You know, it's not just me you're helping, so I appreciate it for all of us. So thank you all for doing that. 37 minutes left, or I've been, I've been, okay, yeah okay that's what I thought I was like Ooh. now if you go too much you can go right back over it and fix it see I kind of did a little too much silver right there I'm just going to kind of clean that up a little you should normally wait till it dries but I'm not I'm just going in and going for it okay let's make a little lady so for the lady we're going to give her her face so whatever color you want her to be, I always make mine whatever color I am or similar, you know, just a tan. But you can definitely make yours the color you are or whatever you want. So I am going to put a little, let me just draw out a little space for her little refrigerator, freezer I mean. So there's her face. I'm going to show you all the easy way you can do this. Don't tell me you can't. I'm sure there's somebody watching who is saying, Well, I told her I can't, and she proved me wrong. I can. Patty, you're one. Thank you for the star party. Is that what you're telling me, that we're having one? Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it. Um, she was definitely one who didn't think she could paint, and she can't she can do anything I can do okay let's get out a little darker brown oh thank y'all nobody feel obligated somebody always says oh I don't have money for that no don't worry nobody has to it's just a nice little treat but nobody has to we're here to help y'all and give you ideas and inspiration I'm just going to kind of feather it out a little, give her a little, you know, how we look funny with nothing there. But then she's going to have a big bun up here because she wishes she had a lot of hair, but she doesn't. So there's her big bun. Take a little bit of that lighter brown and just put that in there. Like so, that's a lot of hair. I see Tony McGee. Well, I see Carrie saying Tony McGee. So, hello, Tony McGee. I'm sorry, you guys. I know I've neglected you, but I will go reply to everybody. I just have to get that done. This is a whole painting, which, you know, 
can usually take a while, um, so I, I had to get going and, and get to doing it. Okay, now we can paint our little refrigerator just a silver, so I'm going to show you all that, but then I'm also going to show you a fun thing you can do if you want to. So I'm just taking the same as what I'm doing on the wheels, and I did add a little white so that it's a little lighter. Let me add a little more. So just that same silver with a little white for her stainless steel top of the line freezer. So I've been saying I really want to live on the beach or by the beach or near a beach, you know, and so this is my, I guess this is the job I would have to do if we're going to move there is be an ice cream delivery person who does art on the side. <laughs> Okay, there's her little fridge or freezer. 20 minutes. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Okay, let's finish her clothes. Um, I'm going to give her the same. This is her colors, is this pink and the little turquoise. So we're going to give her a little t shirt. And we're just watch how we do this we're just coming out so you you got the neck and then you just kind of come out and come down for her arm okay and then come down for her little shirt or whatever like so we're gonna just leave it white in the middle or plain in the middle because she's gonna have an apron on so we'll give her a little more shirt here and then the rest will be apron i know it looks funny right now but this is how i do it I, my kind of, I don't say specialty, but my thing that I want to do is take a painting and then once I'm done with it, I find ways to make it really seem easy for you guys that want to try. So this is what I think works. So then we're going to give her an apron. Now normally I let this dry, but I'm just going for it. So it'll be much easier if you let it dry before you start painting something else. Because if you get that aqua color in here, it's going to be a mess. But, you know, here we go. Have a little light touch and just drag it across. And sometimes you're okay. So there we go. I know she has arms. She, she's going to have arms. Don't worry. Let me show you all up close. Simple, simple. You all see it? We're going to make that skin color again with a little brown and a little tan. Oh, thanks for the hearts. I love seeing those. Her little arm down there. I made her skinny like she used to be. This is Young Dip. <laughs> Thanks, Roseanne. I appreciate it. And then, you know, once I kind of get it, I can give her a little cuff on her sleeve like that. You know, by bringing it out a little wider, kind of fix her shoulder a bit. But that's not important to me. I want to move on and get the rest of this done. Okay. Look at the coverage, y'all. That's great coverage. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a second coat because that will save me time to not do one. And um, let's just go to the next step. So the next step, I'm going to take this fuchsia color and get quite a bit on my brush and maybe just a little of the pink to kind of tone down the fuchsia. I don't want it super, super dark. but And we're going to actually take that back. Where's my flat brush? Why do I keep losing my favorite brush? Is this a joke? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's do that again. Fuchsia. 
lots of fuchsia and a little bit of pink and kind of mix those together and had a lot of water in that brush. And then we can use this to make our shape. So again, start over here and we're gonna make a fender or whatever you call that. So the fender and just come around that tire like so and your brush is doing the work, friends. It does come down below the uh, below the car, so then I just curve it out. So just kind of make a little curve down there. That's the easiest way, is let that brush do it for you. Thanks. Has there been anybody here today that is new to the Crafty Creators community? The group that Tammy has? Tammy is Crafty Peep and she's the one that puts on this event. And she does them, I don't know Tammy, is it ever? how often? I feel like it's every weekend, I don't know. Um, but let me know if you're new to her. She needs a what? Oh, she'll have one. Don't worry. She'll get it. I'm letting that dry. <coughs> okay. Let me come back with this pink and cover up. See that little dot? I just got a little speck of something. Just covering it up. Some of that is just eraser. That I got on there. Okay. That's all for that. Let's build our ice cream cone. Back to the small brush. Back to a detail brush. Oh, good candy. That's great. Glad, glad to hear it. Let's go to do to do our, let's do our lime like it's a lime sherbet or something and do our bottom layer. I'm going to add a little more of that darker green. So I want it to show up. And we're just going to kind of curve it out. So just make kind of some curves down onto that cone. Like so. Okay. Next, let's do the turquoisey color. Blue raspberry, I guess. I did a little poll on my page the other day. I guess, was it yesterday? asking what was y'all's favorite flavors and I got some new ones I want to try although I really we don't buy a lot of sweets um anymore we used to but um but you know sometimes you'll treat yourself it's no fun to not have anything I mean and then of course pink on the top I'm going to get a little more fuchsia out. Y'all doing okay? And give her a big dollop up here. Hello, Marilyn in Pennsylvania. I am in South Fort Worth, for those that don't know me. And I'm glad y'all are here. I've lived in Texas just about all my life. Um, we lived in Oklahoma for a few years, and my daughter was born there, but pretty much here. And I only, I live about 15, 20 minutes away from the hospital that I was born in. So, you know, we, a lot of us kind of end up making it back to where we started. And then I'm going to bring, now normally, like I said, I'd let that blue dry before I start putting my pink on. But for time's sake, I'm going for it. So I'm kind of dolloping the pink to let it drip down, you know, like so. Now we're going to come over here, since I've got this brush and all the paint is still here and ready, and I'm going to make a little cone on her truck because that's her little logo. So we're going to do it right here.
and then follow those same colors that we did up at the top. You have an ant in Texas. Does she like it? It's just so hot. I feel like it's hotter and I don't know. But you know, if it's where you're from and it's all you know, it's just So we're just kind of following the design on that top ice cream. Like so. Okay. <sighs> Let's do kids. I know y'all are gonna wanna see a kid probably, so let me come over here and do a child. We've got to have somebody else to eat the ice cream, right? So again, I start with a face. I know it's about the color of the sand. That's okay though. It's a little different and I will be doing stuff to it. So it'll, it'll show in a minute. We're going to give her brown hair. using a detail brush so it makes it easy because you've got a little bitty brush there. She's going to have long hair and I'm going to show you my easy way that I braid. Oh, she looks like a little Dina. Can't y'all just picture Dina when she was little? You know she was adorable. We need to bribe Kenny and tell us to tell him to show us some little Dina pictures. So if you'll take your brush and just go, you're going side, you're going at an angle. So you're taking your brush and you're going like this, 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 all the way down your little braid. When it dries, it looks like a little braid. You know, when I figured this out uh, about an hour ago, I wanted, an, I wanted to give her braids and I wanted to make it easy like how can I teach this that it's so that's what we're doing and I thought it worked great so let's let that sit there and then you're gonna see better when it dries a little and I can show you make me super skinny <laughs> You are skinny. Listen, we don't need to worry about it, do we? We worry way too much about our body. We got to be happy, right? And sometimes happy people get ice cream. Oh, you just can't see her arms. Let's make Dina tan. Now, Dina, you've got sunscreen on your face, so your face is going to be a little lighter. But we're going to have her arms out. She's having fun. So remember I just said come down from your neck and then make a couple of arms coming out. There's her little body. I'm gonna give her a bathing suit. Guess what color it's gonna be? Aqua blue. Or what do you call it? Dutch aqua. No. Is it Dutch aqua? I don't have that. We're using Bahama blue. Ice cream has no listen. That's right. Or if we're you know, treating ourselves. We just don't worry about it. So I, with my mermaids or bathing suits, I always make a modest bathing suit. So it's just a one piece and then kind of bring it to a little point and that's it. And then give her a couple straps like that. Oh, thanks Brenda. <laughs> I'm really working on getting a better camera set up. I just can't figure out the best way for y'all to see, and I hope y'all can see. Um, I don't know. It's hard. And then a little leg, a little leg. And she's gonna have some funny feet, so don't laugh, but I don't do, I don't do, you know, detail on feet or something, or even hands for that matter. 
she is going to be, oh, I forgot her hand. So this one's got to have a little hand. And this one is going to be holding an ice cream cone, of course. So let's get a little darker brown out. Would somebody, well, I can look, never mind. I don't know why I was going to tell you to look, tell me the time. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Got to hurry. Oh. I feel like I've gone pretty fast, but how am I not done? There's a little cone. Yeah, you know, she's going to have some pink ice cream. I just put the fuchsia with a little of the other bu bubblegum pink on top. Going to have a little bit running down her cone. How cute is she? Ugh, five minutes. That's just not fair. Hi, Lisa. Boy, Lisa, your project was amazing. Everybody's has been so good, and I love everybody's. You know, everybody's just unique, and so you learn and love everybody, but that was really cool. She's going to have some polka dots. I'm just going to do white, you know, because um, I've got a lot of white. Oh, those are big. Sorry. Well, those are big polka dots. I may have to fix that. Good grief. But for now, that's what she's getting. And I will use a Micron pen to give her a little bit of a face. Um, in a minute. I'm going to make some lines on my ice cream cones. I really didn't finish, but I'll show y'all my little one that I did real quick before, you know, I'll show y'all what it's going to look like and then I'll finish it. Wow, I really didn't finish. I'm so sad. I really thought I was not doing too bad. She's been playing in the sand. There's a little pail. Okay, so after me is by Shana. Um, but if you'll just stay in the crafty creators community then you just refresh which is the easiest I have just really found that is my way because I get tired of trying to go you have to look at the schedule see who's next then go to their page it's just easiest to stay in the group you can always leave the group if you don't want to be in the group anymore but it just makes it easy for the event okay let's do a quick 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 sign so we're gonna slap on some brown some white some tan make it kind of a wood sign you see how quick, y'all? Quick, quick. Don't overthink it. And then when it's dry, I'm going to write on there, uh, drive slow. That lady in the ice cream truck better not come flying through here. Okay. So, we're going to have a lot of details to do off camera, but I'm going to show you the finished project, but, uh, or the, the one that I did before this to kind of get ready and decide what I wanted to do. Y'all, I had to show y'all this. I got them all out. Look what I have to do to my micron pins to keep my husband from taking them. Do y'all see this? I have to take a permanent marker and mess them up so that, with pink, so that he sees these are mine because we both use them and... I bought these and I don't want them missing. So when I come in here and need them, I don't want to be having to look around or find out. So, um, the micron pins are excellent to come in here and give everything a little bit of 
something something I can't really do much because I can tell not everything is dry oh the wheels um, super fast little circle just circle circle it doesn't have to be perfect And then take a, a, another detail brush that's got a nice thin end to it and you can give everything a little highlight. So, you know, come in here and kind of highlight little areas. Um, the truck will get some highlights. I'm going to do a little banner on the truck. I'm going to finish this out and so I'll show you the picture, but I give everything a highlight. Let me just show you the finished one or the, this is my practice one. This is what it is going to look like. And I took a piece of plastic, like, you know, what your things come in. Like, you might get a package of brushes, and it's got the plastic cover. And I just painted the girl right on there. And on the back, it says, go to other side. But it's facing that pe those people, which I thought was hilarious. And then the banner, I've got a blanket on this one. So, you can see that I did not near get enough done. But little details will add a lot with that micron pen so i'll do that what i'll do is finish this up um, while we watch by shana and um, show y'all a picture so i will go back through here when i'm done and pick somebody and i'll send you one of these little ornaments oops i mean magnets that has the little beach scene tammy thank you for having me appreciate it so much all of you let's go watch by shana have a good night guys